Often, uh, one of the main issues that we're presented with is that the clinical commissioning groups can fail to adhere to the very clear timeframes that are set out within the national framework uh, as to when and where they should be undertaking uh, assessments for continuing healthcare funding when it's been requested that they do so. Now, the national framework makes it clear that they, are, uh, the, they the clinical commissioning groups, uh, ought to undertake an assessment within 14 days of receipt of a request, uh, request for doing so. In practice, this is exceptionally unusual uh, to, for anything to be dealt with that swiftly. Now, we do appreciate, uh, as I'm sure everyone in the, in the, in the country does, the uh, pressures and constraints placed upon the NHS, and therefore uh, we must, of course, be reasonable as to what is realistic in terms of time frames. But equally, by the same token, if there are very clear guide, uh, very, sorry, very clear rules set out within the national framework as to what should be done, it cannot be the case that it's simply ignored, uh, and very ridiculous time frames, such as many months. Um, are put forward as a, 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 the timescales upon which they will complete the obligations they're told to undertake in 14 days. A large part of the work that we undertake on behalf of clients is bearing the brunt of the administrative chasing and pursuing uh, and, and, if necessary, lodging complaints uh, and escalating where necessary uh, to ensure that things should be done when they should be done. And part of that is having the knowledge and expertise of what should be done and when it should be done to be able to structure the arguments and present them. The key here is that the process should be patient-led and it's clearly in the patient's best interest that they are assessed as soon as possible. Instructing a company such as Compass CAC, uh, make sure that you are armed uh, with an expert in your corner who has the best interest of the patient at heart, who is able to argue succinctly what should be done and why it should be done and draw the attention to any uh, clinical commissioning group who are not adhering to the rules um, and making sure things happen in the time frame that they should.